if you're using a dull knife and you're just hacking away at your turkey without a plan, then you're doing it all wrong. One of the first mistakes is that most people use a dull knife. You don't want to cut a turkey with a dull knife. You'll shred the meat, you won't get a nice slice. Another problem is everyone thinks you're supposed to carve your turkey in the dining room. If you think about it, in the dining room, you won't have enough space, you'll have the pressure of your guests watching you, and you won't be able to execute your plan. I suggest you carve it in the kitchen where you have your own space. I may be fighting tradition, but do not roast your turkey with the stuffing inside, if you cook them separately. You have much easier control over your turkey and making sure it's moist, and you have much more control over your stuffing and making sure it reaches the temperature it needs to reach. The worst thing people do is they carve their turkey without a plan of attack. It leaves you with uneven pieces, unappetizing looking turkey, you're going to have breast meat combined with dark meat, and you end up leaving a lot of meat on the bone. Now I'm going to show you the right way to carve a turkey. The first thing I like to do is remove both legs. Gets them out of the way, it makes the bird that much easier to carve. Once the legs are off, then I like to remove the entire breast in one piece by cutting along the keel bone. That's that bone that runs along the center of the turkey. Insert the knife to the side of the bone, follow it all the way down to the breast bone, and then just follow it along to the wing bone, and the whole breast will come off. Slice across the grain. When you slice meat with the grain, it's much more chewy. When you slice across the grain, you're breaking that grain up. It's much more tender. Once it's sliced, you can put the breast back together on your platter. Presentation is important, and you'll want your turkey to look beautiful for your guests. At the end of your meal, take any remaining meat off the bone. It makes it much easier to store, and you don't have to battle your turkey the next day. And the last thing I recommend is keeping the carcass to make stock with it, and then you don't have to throw anything away. If you've done all these things correctly, you'll have conquered your turkey, and you'll be well on your way to a less stressful Thanksgiving.